This is Naina Curley of Wamda Media. I'm here at the Global Entrepreneurship Summit with Doa Abdel Wahab, the co-founder of A2D Storage, a women's-led storage company in Bahrain, and also the managing director of Salad Boutique, an international salad chain. Doa, how are you? Hi, hi, Nina. How are you? Good. Um, so let's talk about. So we already chatted with you at the um, Mina Business Women's Forum in, uh, I think it was March, about Salad Boutique. Where are you now? The company is now scaling internationally and continuing to open branches. How has that been? Uh, we've been doing very good, alhamdulillah. Uh, that time we were in Kuwait and Bahrain and Jeddah. Now we have another branch in Jeddah and soon, maybe at the end of this month, we'll be opening in Doha. And uh, the Doha branch will be the, the biggest branch in the GCC. And uh, it's located in a very esteemed, uh, luxurious uh, location, which is an Inspire Zone. And it will be part of the Ladies Health, uh, Health Club. Uh, but actually it, the entrance is out so everyone can uh, dine there and uh, we are looking to cover the other regions like uh, Emirates, Dubai, uh, like Dubai and Abu Dhabi and inshallah we have also a plan to uh, cover Oman because Oman is, uh, is still infant in such uh, uh, hospitality market. And so, how have you been localizing the different branches? Is opening in a luxury location in Qatar part of the plan to sort of localize the Qatar branch? Exactly. When we look to uh, open a branch, we should study the culture of the country. Because what suits Bahrain doesn't suit other, company, uh, other country. And uh, when we uh, scanned the market in Doha, we found that the, the, the restaurants are always uh, high standards, uh, classy, and people like Qatari people like such places. So uh, it's, anyway, it's a first class restaurant, so it shouldn't be less than that. But uh, only uh, some of features of uh, the, the restaurant itself should, should uh, be adapted as per the country specifications and uh, customer tastes. And have you had any issues, you know, selling a health food product to local customers? Uh, Actually, we don't have issues uh, except uh, positive issues. People are uh, used to it's, it's the healthy food or it's a new lifestyle. So it's not a diet food. We always say it's not a diet food, but it's, it's a lifestyle. So people are adapting this style with, uh, with appreciation. And since we started uh, the delivery in Bahrain, uh, uh, our customer base has increased uh, about 45%. Uh, plus that we uh, just launched um, our marketing campaign in, uh, in the roads of Bahrain. And uh, we introduced uh, Office to Go. Office to go, it's like a breakfast box and lunch box that comes to you to your office, especially for busy professionals that they have a lunch break, but they don't have time to, to, to travel to the restaurant. Plus that usually when you work for long hours, you, you eat anything just to satisfy yourself. But the thing is that this will give you another motive to work harder and in a better shape and a healthy, with a healthy food. And actually, so far, we are doing well with uh, such uh, mar uh, office to go. Excellent. And what is it like being a woman uh, entrepreneur in Bahrain? Is there a lot of support in the community? Uh, to be honest, it's not easy to be an entrepreneur. It's either in Bahrain or any part of the world. Uh, being an entrepreneur is like being responsible, taking the risk, and be responsible for the risk. Because it all depends on you how far you can go. And uh, the, the entrepreneurship it's, uh, needs a lot of skills, needs a lot of knowledge, and it needs network. And uh, I believe that the rules and regulation for the inter entrepreneurship, especially for women entrepreneurship, still needs to be adapted to support female. Because uh, female, although they are smart, they are not less eff uh, efficient, not less effective than male, but they always take the social commitment as an excuse to uh, stop them from starting their businesses. And um, I believe if there is a supporting system for females so they can delegate their uh, social commitments, that will uh, make them uh, participate in the entrepreneurship and that, of course, will make the, the, the market and uh, the, the private sector more uh, effective. 
And uh, we in Bahrain, we have some initiatives like Temkin that support the, the, the Bahraini entrepreneurship. And I'm, I'm myself, I benefited a lot of uh, Temkin, but still, uh, they need to market uh, their support more. They need to adapt their support uh, basically on the needs of, uh, of the youth because um, we as the Bahrainis, we, we don't know how to do it. We don't, we don't have the know-how. And usually when I, I came across a lot of entrepreneurs, they, they never uh, started their business through Tamkeen. It's always coming at a later stage when you already spent a lot of money. And these are resources and they are uh, limited resources. So entrepreneurs should be uh, wise in using them. And if there is Tamkeen, why, uh, why don't... Uh, uh, the, yeah, the entrepreneurs benefit from the beginning uh, from their uh, schemes and they have very lovely schemes. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.